you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and reduce photo sizes on your particular iPhone. Now let's say your photos are too big in size or there's some issue going on with them and you need to make them smaller. There's a very easy way to go and fix this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to our internet browser, just like this, and we're going to go to this website called Image2Go. Now this allows you to go and reduce images. There's a lot of other websites that allow you to do this, but Image2Go is a really basic one that allows you to do it. So when you come here, you should be able to actually choose which configuration you want. So you can choose the one for compressing images online. So then what you can do is you can go and choose a file. So choose a file that you want to go ahead and basically compress. So let's say we wanted to go ahead and compress like another photo. Let's say we wanted to compress like this one or whatever, right? It's a stupid one. Or we can do multiple ones. You can choose these ones. And then what you can do here is you can click show selected. So from here, what you can do is you can go and show the selected one and you can see the actual size if you want to, but then whenever you're ready, you can click down in the top right and you can click add. Now when you're done and when you click add, what you can do is you can just go through and see that the photos will then be compressed at the very bottom. And that's really all you're going to have to do. So now you'll see the original size, the 462 to you know 1.91, and you can choose the quality of the size. So you can make it 80% smaller, 0% smaller, up to you. And from there, all you're going to have to do is kind of choose again the configurations you want and you can click start. So then all you have to do is just keep it going. It's going to start it and then it'll go and start processing. It can take a little bit of time. But then at that point, after a certain bit of time, you should see that everything will be processed. And that's really all you're going to have to do. So at this point, again, it's going to take just a little bit of time for you to go and see it. You can see that it is compressed and you can see that you can basically go ahead and see what you need. So you can click on result, I guess or files or something like that to be able to see what you have. And you can go ahead and download these particular files from here. So that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.